I need everybody from the ages of 13 to 24 to stand up, man. I'm the second oldest daughter to Jeff Ford, to ones that call Malik chief, and I'm fed up. Because each and every one of you all can be Duke right here. I'm gonna be real honest with you all because see, we real talking up in here because Duke is real laying right in front of us. And it's a reason why this brother is here. I see these red caps, my brothers. I know we hurt because we love Duke, but we got a responsibility to bring up our community to be vibrant. Whatever it is that's going on, cease the fire, call a truce. The Interrupters is a fascinating documentary. It tells the story of a group of people who've taken it on themselves to go into high crime areas of Chicago and stop violence while it's happening. To basically interrupt the violence, to go there and tell people to calm down that there's a better way. These are not ordinary do-gooders. These are often people with dark pasts, criminal pasts, people who've seen the light and who understand the value of stopping violence in neighborhoods. There's some extraordinary people. This film follows them over the course of more than a year. You see what happens to people. You see how people can change. You see what's possible. You see what's not possible. You see a reality that is really amazing. These young guys say, Let's go get who we think did it. I'm hearing 20 different things why that brother got changed. And all of it is stupid. All of it is stupid. Two o'clock in the afternoon when these babies coming home from school, y'all shoot. For real. This is unacceptable for me to be holding this boy, this young man's obituary. Schools, churches, your mama's house, your cars, those are safe zones. Yeah. And when I was about your age, I was making some real stupid decisions and some stupid calls that was causing me, my life, blood on my hands and my head. Stop. This is a film by the same documentary filmmaker who made Hoop Dreams, another film that played out over a long period of time, and The Interrupters is certainly a worthy successor to that film. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.